Futures and Options FNO trading has gained popularity among traders in India due to the availability of online platforms. These are derivative contracts whose value is derived from the price of an underlying asset and they constitute a significant portion of trading activity on Indian stock exchanges. Futures contracts allow traders to buy or sell a security at a predetermined price on a future date. For example, traders can enter into a futures contract for commodities like gold or oil, agreeing to trade them at a set price in the future. The trader's profit or loss depends on market movements until the contract's expiration. Unlike futures, options contracts allow the buyer to cancel the agreement but require the payment of a premium for this flexibility. FNO turnover is crucial for tax filing as FNO trading is considered a business activity. To calculate turnover, one must account for all profits and losses, expenses related to the trading business and depreciation on assets. The resulting figure represents the turnover from FNO trading. To calculate FNO turnover, add the positive and negative differences in all trades, include the premium received from selling options and account for reverse trade differences. Futures turnover equals absolute profit, while options turnover equals absolute profit plus premium. Reporting FNO turnover is mandatory, even if there are losses, which can offer tax benefits. A tax audit under Section 44AB is required if the turnover exceeds rupees 1 crore or rupees 2 crores under the presumptive taxation scheme, or if losses are reported. If opting for a tax audit, a chartered accountant must be appointed to prepare financial statements, file the tax audit report, Form 3CD, and file the income tax return, ITR. Investments in securities market are subject to market risks. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.